Hello everyone and welcome back to learning how to interact, build and deploy smart contracts on Colab. In this lecture, we're building a Hello World, a simple Solidity smart contract in Google Colab. So join me back in your project. First, we're going to import from the Solidity compiler the compile source function. Okay, then we're going to call compile source and in here into the function you're going to pass in your Solidity code. So let's create a simple Solidity smart contract. For that we can go to remix.ethereum.org and we can create a smart contract. We could also just create it in Colab. We don't have to go to Remix. But if we go to Remix first, then we can actually see the smart contract nicely formatted and then we can just paste it into Google Colab. Here on Remix, I'm going to go into Contracts and hit New File and create a new contract called Hello World. So here I've created a new file called Hello World.Solidity. At the top of the file, we want to put in our license for the smart contract with the SPDX license identifier like MIT. Then we want to put in our Solidity version. So in this case, we're using Pragma Solidity 0.8.12. Then we'll create our contract called Hello World. Typically, it's best to keep the contract name the same as the file name. We're going to create a state variable that we can call our message. Then we can build our constructor to instantiate the contract and we'll set our message to hello world. Okay, note that if you want a string with more than one character, then use double quotes. And make sure to use semicolons to end each line. Then we'll create a function called set message. And here we're going to enable to pass in a new message argument. Okay, then we can change the message variable to equal the value of the message argument. We'll have one more function as well, keeping this simple, called say hello. And or say message. And doesn't matter really. And then we'll make this the view modifier, the public modifier, and it's going to return a string that's stored in memory and we're going to return the message. So a simple smart contract, you can hit command S to compile this contract or just go to the compilation tab and hit compile. Make sure your compiler is 0.8.12. Likely the contract will work with other versions as well. But if you come across any issues or any errors or warnings, then just check that you're using the correct Solidity compiler version. Now, we don't have to deploy the contract on Remix. The only reason I came to Remix was just to see this contract nicely formatted and to verify that it works because it's compiled successfully. You could deploy it via Remix right here with the deploy function under the deploy tab. And then if you deploy this, you can see the deployed contract and you can check it to make sure it actually works. So if I change the message to buy and call set message, does the message actually change? So yes, it does for this deployed contract instance. So Remix allows you to test that your contracts work. Then you can copy this contract and go back to Colab. In Colab, I'm going to paste the contract as a multi-line string to my compile source function. A multi-line string can be created with three single quotes and then you can just paste in your contract right here. So I have just pasted in my smart contract right here into Google Colab. The result is going to be my compiled Solidity. All right, so this is going to take the Solidity code inside of the string and it's going to compile it. Why? Because we're calling compile source, which means compiling code from source code right here that we've pasted in. And we are using the SOLCX, which is the Solidity compiler to actually do this. So that's why we get compiled Solidity. One more thing we need to add to this function are going to be the output values. So what to do with the output and make sure you don't have too many parentheses. 
So my output values are going to be the contract ABI, all of the data of the contract, and the bin. Okay, so those will be the output of the compilation. Okay, then we can run this code cell and we now have our variable. Okay, so we can inspect our compiled solidity. Let's create a new code cell and inspect it. So what we get here, standard in was the hello world contract. We get its ABI, all of its information, and its bin. Okay, so the bin is the bytecode. Okay, then we can create a new contract, okay, or a new code rather, a new code cell. And we can start interacting with the contract or getting information from it. So let's start with getting information about it and then interacting with it later. So what we can do is grab the compiled solidity and call pop item. Okay, then we can print out the result of popping the item. Okay, so we just get our data again. What I'm going to save this as is the contract ID and the contract interface. Okay, then we can paste out the values of these, like the contract ID. Okay, so we just have to make sure that pop item isn't empty, so it will be empty if you try to pop twice. So just run the code cells again. Okay, now you can actually pop. You can't pop twice. Okay, so now we can print the contract ID, which is hello world, and we can print out the contract interface, which is that ABI and that bin. Okay, so two properties that we can get from the compiled solidity. So the ABI is the data about the contract. What variables does it have? What functions does it have? What inputs does it have and more? So to get that directly, we can access the contract interface again. And this is a dictionary. So we can access a key in the dictionary like ABI. Okay, and we can also just print it out without the print function to get it nicely formatted if you're on Google Colab. If you're offline, like with a code editor, then this won't work. You have to use print. Okay, so here we can see inputs as well as type for this contract. And as mentioned, we had bin, so we can access the bin key, which is the bytecode. So we can run this cell and we can get the bytecode, which can be converted back to solidity code. Okay, so we can copy the bin. Okay, and you'll see it's actually quite long. Okay, so those are a couple properties we can get from compiled solidity. All right, coming up next, let's look at how we can interact with the contract. So how can we actually submit transactions to the contract? How can we deploy the contract itself? How can we call contract functions? We're going to do all that coming up next. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.